the why because I come here and play basketball and I meet new friends and I come to play with my brothers because sometimes other kids beat them and and I want to be there to see it so means to me a whole lot. It means, you know, to spend time in nurturing younger children and, you know, trying to help them find a niche in life or a niche in anything. And I picked it up from my dad. My dad, when I was young, when I was five, six years old, my dad um, belonged to a thing called the PAL back in New York City, which he um, had block parties, close off the streets so that the kids can play in the fire hydrants and play skelly boards and play um, um, stick ball in the streets. And that's where I picked it up from. I thought about my dad and I started to do this. And that's what King's Kids means to me. King Kids program means to me is that it's an opportunity for underprivileged children to experience some things that they may not be financially able to experience. Coming to the Y, uh, swimming in an indoor pool, uh, playing basketball indoors. So it's just a lot of things that the Y, y has to offer that um, these underprivileged kids don't have the privilege. I grew up in Madisonville. This is where the kids are from. And so I understand how it was to grow up in Madisonville and not have a lot to do. So I commend um, Brittany and Mr. JR and Mr. Steve and everyone who is coming. So I was very excited to be involved in the King's Kids program. Uh, the Y means a lot to me. Not only do I work here, I grew up going to the Y. Uh, I took swim lessons at the Y as a kid. I played youth basketball at the Y, I uh, continued to use the Y in my free time, and to be able to give these kids an opportunity to experience everything that the Y has to offer. The King's Kids program means a lot to me. It's the first time since I've been at our Y that we have combined childcare, healthy living, and membership to come together to make an amazing program. We're giving these kids opportunities and exposure to different activities that they have not been exposed to. They're learning about swimming and the safety about it. They are learning about other organizations within our community that are willing to step in and help. They are learning from the staff and they're also meeting other kids from different places. I think this is something that I will look back on of years and remember all of these kids and volunteers and think of them as an extended part of my family. The doo doo shot? What's up, buddy? My name is Juan de la Cuerda. I have lived at King Towers for roughly 25 years. This, out of all the 25 years I've lived there, never once has anyone ever did anything for the kids. 
Now I'm over here at what the YMCA in Blue Ash, and we're with King's Kids. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> this is such a wonderful and beautiful program. I've never seen anything that would benefit the children like this. This is such an amazing program. I've seen the children flourish. I've seen the adults flourish. I like this program. I'm hoping that things will follow as this program has that will be beneficial to our children. This is a wonderful thing. My favorite thing was when we had made our own chalkboards and the reason why I liked it because I like to do art. Man, Ashford, I live down the street. I live on Worst Street and King's Kill is the only place I can go swimming. Hello, my name is Delacia at the shelter and I King has had to teach me a lot of things. And the, my favorite thing was designing shoes. Designing shoes is very fun, so I want to grow up and design shoes for other people. And, um, why is this the first experience for me? And um, I like it because we bring my son here, so he can. He don't know how to swim just yet, but it's a good experience for him. So we're gonna have um, our families to come here, so we enjoy it, and I enjoy being a chaperone. I know they thought I was mean, but. Kiss, I, I, I my swim. Thank you.